Fayetteville's newest park is about to open. Construction began in September on the new skateboard park at Roan Park. Team Paint designed and built Fables Park, and they are an internationally known for their skateboard park builds. Shortly after the new year, the builder poured the last bit of concrete in the park and put the finishing touches on the new facility. Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation is now finishing up the landscaping and other finishing touches before the official ribbon cutting for the skateboard park. The project is close to a million dollars and was funded as part of the 2016 Parks and Recreation Bond referendum approved by voters to pay for park renovations and enhancements. Stay tuned for more information on official ribbon cutting and the opening of the park to the public. 62 residents participated in the annual CAFE conversation event and shared with city staff what priorities they would like the city to focus on in the coming year. Community CAFE conversation is an annual event that gives residents another opportunity to identify what they think are the top priorities for Fayetteville. Participants came from all districts within the city and reflected the diversity of our community and also included residents from different age brackets, walks of life, and from the business, military, and education communities. During CAFE conversation, residents are asked about their priorities for the upcoming fiscal year, what success looks like, and how the city can promote transparency and accountability for results. Close to 97% of respondents say they support the city's vision of building an attractive, culturally diverse, and inclusive city that is safe, prosperous, innovative, and unified. Overall, 92.5% of the participants will give the city a passing grade for improving services and 82.5% gave a passing grade for the city using data when making decisions. The results from the Community Cafe conversation are provided to City Council during their City Council strategic planning retreat at the end of January. Strategic planning is a roadmap to guide the use of money, personnel, and resources to realize a shared vision of the future. It outlines what a community hopes to achieve through a long-term and annual goal-setting process and provide steps for reaching those goals. You may have noticed on the Fable Fire Department's Facebook page a story about a recent rescue. Fire crews responded to a structure fire in Vesper Lane and were able to quickly bring the fire under control. Fortunately, the homeowners were not injured in the fire. However, while conducting a search of the home, firefighters found an unconscious dog inside. Parrish, the dog, was taken outside so they could save its life. The firefighters were able to give the dog oxygen and resuscitated her in time. Fay TV followed up with the fire crews and the owners, and we have a more in-depth story along with an update on Paris. Follow the city on Twitter at City of Fay NC for a link to the video. For the first time within the last 10 years, there were no fire-related deaths within the city of Fayetteville. Last year alone, the Fayetteville Fire Department responded to more than 29,441 calls for service within the city limits. Of those calls for service, 416 calls were structure fires. The reduction in fire-related fatalities is attributed to many factors. The rapid response to the Fayetteville Fire Department, the work of the Community Risk Reduction Division of the Fayetteville Fire Department, and the dedication of the citizens to ensure they have working smoke alarms and the early detection devices in their homes. As a reminder, the importance of early identification of fire in a dwelling is immeasurable. Functioning smoke alarms should be installed and maintained. Smoke alarms should be tested monthly and batteries should be replaced at least once a year. If you're a citizen of Fable and do not have working smoke alarms in your home, the Fable Fire Department is available to install working smoke alarms in your home free of charge. You can contact the Fire Prevention Office at 910-433-1730 to learn more about having the alarms installed in your home. The Fable Fire Department is rated Class 1 by the Insurance Service Office, which is the best possible rating. A Class 1 rating describes how well a fire department can protect the community, and insurance companies also use that score to help set insurance rates. The Fable Police Department recently held a basic law enforcement training graduation and a promotion ceremony at Fable Technical Community College. BLET Class 2019-2 had 10 men and women who had completed over 800 hours of training since the academy began. They will now embark on the next chapter in their careers as they serve their community as law enforcement officers. Following graduation, the new officers will be evaluated and complete 12 weeks of field training as they ride along with their field training officers before they can be released to solo patrol duties.